Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Freddy Monteiro, plays for Sporting Lisbon in the Premier League of Portugal, he's 5 foot 9 tall, he's right footed, he's got medium medium work rates, a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 86 agility, 86 balance, 85 ball control, 83 curve and 83 attack positioning. We have also included all the upgrades over his non-inform as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat increase of all of his stats. So you can always pause it if you want a close look at any of these now. So this is the team we were using Inform Montero in, a 4-1-2-1-2 Premier League team with the Inform Montero up top at left striker, obviously partnering the Inform Jonas as well up top. Now onto the gameplay so you can see how he was performing. So actually looking at Inform Montero's in games, he does have some pretty nice stats for a 78 rated goal. Gotta be honest, did feel great on the ball and does have decent dribbling, 79 dribbling, which has helped a real lot with his 86 agility and 86 balance. So we had no problems dribbling through the defence, nice and agile, nice quick turns of direction, great for opening up space and also does have his four star skills as well to help him out so he can throw the Berber spin and chop in there as well. Now his pace is okay, nothing electrically fast but he's not too slow either. Uh, 79 acceleration which is good for bursting away, only 75 sprint speed but he didn't feel slow at all. Now one little negative though, if he does get caught on the ball he is really weak so he will get shoved off easily. So best try and use your agility to keep away from the defenders. Now he does have some decent passing on him as well which he does have a great short pass and can actually pick out some decent passes and he did end up getting a fair few assists for our team as well. So honestly not a bad little creator there, passing and vision are solid as well. Now, his shooting obviously has had the biggest boost in his uh, stat boosts. It's nothing amazing, but it is certainly good enough to get you the goals up top. I don't think we had no problem scoring the goals. Now, we had no brilliant shots, no absolute storming goals, but we just had a lot of real tidy finishes, to be honest, in front of the goal. But, you know, a goal is a goal. At the end of the day, that is what you want to be doing. It doesn't really matter how the ball gets in, as long as you're getting them goals. And he certainly was getting a few goals for us in front of net. Now, he does only have medium medium work rates which I don't like as a striker now we did actually give him a couple of games at centre forward and he did go well there certainly was creative enough to cope at centre forward and did use his dribbling and agility to keep possession well in the middle of the pitch solid enough at centre forward so a bit of versatility on him as well could even drop into cam as well so let's have a look at Inform Montero's performance stats. So in five games, he managed eight goals and four assists. All of his stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map shows you where goals were scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're going to give Inform Montero a solid eight out of ten. He's great on the ball with his dribbling and his agility. And as we said, would suit a centre forward position as well. Or even as a cam, he has got a decent short pass on him. So he does have a bit of versatility with uh, Inform Montero. Decent enough in front of goal as well. As you've seen, got five, eight goals in five games. Not too bad, but did get four assists as well. Nani does have his four star skills and his four star weak foot as well. And he does have some decent in game stats on him, especially for a 78 rated gold. Cracking little player. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Inform Montero's positives and negatives for you to look at. Now his price range is only 10 to 25k, so it's cheap, and hopefully it will be discard as long as they release. Hopefully, team of the season is going to be on this Friday, so uh, a lot, a lot of packs are going to be open. So it will be discard if that happens. I don't think many people are opening packs at the minute because there was not many about. I think everyone's waiting for team of the season. But is versatile enough player? Uh, his only real negative is his strength, and he is a bit small, so it needs a strike partner with him up top. Unless you're playing him at a centre forward or, or a cam, which he can do. So highly recommend recommended you go and give him a go especially in a premier league team highly recommended nice little player to pick up so hopefully you did enjoy this review if you did please leave a like it does help out a lot we try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can on youtube loads more to check out on the channel please subscribe if you're new loads more to come as well stay tuned for that thanks for watching lads cheers lads see you later